but it is my distinct pleasure to introduce Taylor Reevely, the 27th president of the College of Women Mary. Let me try in just a few words to capture the essence of where I think William and Mary is right now. And let me try to capture it in, in four P's. A people, plant, program, plan. The great strength of William and Mary over the centuries, generation after generation, has been its people. It's, it's faculty, it's staff, it's students, it's alumni, it's friends have been people of great ability, great ambition, powerful work ethic, who uh, came together and really made wonderful things happen. That is still true at William & Mary, true to extraordinary degree. Since the turn of the century, since the year 2000, we have completely renovated or built from scratch a million and a half square feet of space. That's a lot of square feet of space. The campus is being physically transformed. The campus is being really prepared physically for a prime time in the 21st century, a very competitive environment. You know, there's still a long way to go. The arts, for example, at William & Mary are still doing their thing in really substandard facilities. We still need one more major science building. We brought two online. But basically, in most areas of the university's life, there's been a real physical transformation recently. So physically speaking, great things have been done here. And if you haven't seen the um, new business school palace that has risen on Jamestown Road, you really ought to go take a look at it. And don't just drive by, park, get out, walk into the new business school building, the Mason School of Business, Miller Hall, walk around in it. It is absolutely marvelous. A huge amount of education is going on at William & Mary these days. It's going on in class, it's going on outside class, it's going on on the campus and in the community and abroad. The teaching is powerful, the learning is powerful. We, we've also got very significant cutting edge research going on here. We are a research university as well as a great teaching university. The opportunities here to learn and to grow and to contribute are, are I think, as great for our students as they are for students anywhere in the country. And clearly, we're right at the top of the food chain in terms of the strength of our program and what it actually delivers in the real world. Planning. Last year, we got started on a strategic planning process. It has been a very inclusive process. We've reached out to everybody. It's a very sophisticated process. It's a process that understands that strategic planning that turns out to be nothing but a big wish list isn't worth the paper it's written on. Every time you turn around, something's changing. Something fundamental is changing. And since we live in a time of enormous competition, particularly in higher education, if we don't have a good plan, a good sense of what's really important to William and Mary, what's really crucial, what we must preserve at all costs, what can change, what needs to change, as well as what we want to preserve at all costs. If we don't really know where we're trying to go and how we propose to get there, um, we're not going to fare very well. And this planning process is, is, is helping us figure all that out, and it is crucially important to our capacity to put our scarce resources where they'll do the most good, make the most difference in pushing William and Mary forward and in see to, seeing to it that we can deal with all this change and deal effectively with all this competition. Now let's talk about some challenges. And really, um, they're all rooted in the same thing. Mammon, 
money, resources, dollars, though we'll take it in euros or yeah, in any way we can get it. We are constrained financially. We are very constrained financially. We are too constrained financially. We can't stay as constrained financially as we are and expect to sustain um, the wonderful William and Mary that we now are. So one reason we're confronting some financial difficulties is the Great Recession. Though I should say on that score, last year despite the Great Recession, despite the fact we were not in a fundraising campaign, we raised more money for William and Mary in a single year than in the prior 316 years. A generation ago, the taxpayers of Virginia provided 43% of our operating budget here. This year, the taxpayers will pay about 13.7% of our operating budget. In the last uh, 14 months, the state has cut our budget four times for a total of 32% of what it was providing 14 months ago. In the final analysis, raising more money will hinge on building really enduring lifetime ties to alumni and in explaining in ways that people hear and understand that we have become a privately supported university, not a publicly supported university. Explaining that in ways that people understand